everybody, Reaper X1 here again, back again playing some Star Maid. And look what I discovered. Got me a planet, man. Freaking planet. <clears throat> First one I've seen so far in the game, and it's not quite what I expected, but hey, right on. I'll eventually sometime find myself a planet, and I am going to conquer the crap out of one of them at some point. I'm not rushing into things, though, because I got things to do first, like learn how to play this game right. And also, I got to, you know, of course, welcome all you guys, because, you know, that's why I does it, to have fun with all you guys. Hopefully we can share some ideas, have some awesome times in the process. And, you know, I also do want to thank you for all the awesome feedback you guys have thrown my way, because it is super helpful. Even though you may just think it's a little comment here and there, or a like or whatnot, but it tells me what's going over good. It tells me what I need to improve on and all that stuff, as most feedback does. And, you know, it's only the kind of awesome that just you guys can bring. I can try, but there's only so much I can do. It's all you guys that really help things along. And that's why I like to say the thank yous and let you know that I do appreciate the support. <laughs> and, you know, every time you hit that like button, the subscription button... Any comments you provide, any feedback, constructive criticisms, all it does is it just fuels my motivation, which in turn fuels my channel. I know you've heard it a lot, but I find it important. And as you can see, I'm just trying to test out the, the limits of this planet and kind of see how things function when you do interact with a planet. And uh, so far, honestly, I'm not too keen on the planet themselves it looks a lot like that other game i don't care for that's called minecraft where that's blocky holy crap reminds me of mario brothers kind of stuff but that's just what's in the game as a standard so that does not mean what is capable of this game because i could already see a lot of ways to make that planet look better i would actually like to make a planet Block by block if I must. Maybe that'll be my ultimate space station project. It could be. Maybe. Huh. But yeah, as I got looking at my little ship there, I kind of rounded it out a little bit better. Finished up the main hull of it. And uh, it just looked a little, well, as my daughter would say, like a duck. I was like, oh, shucks, it looks like a duck. Oh, no. So I figured I'd put a turret on top of it. Because that's the other thing I want to learn how to use, right, is the AI. Because if I can have a turret on top of me that just fires on its own, salvages on its own, you know, protects my butt in general, awesome. I'll be loving it. But first you got to build the thing, right? <laughs> now I've learned a little bit about uh, the weapon system since I made this, but I'm actually glad I made it this way just because of the visuals. I know it sounds weird. But I don't always make everything to be highly efficient and effective in battle. A lot of the time, well not a lot of the time, but some of the time I like to make things that just look cool. And sometimes, you know, more damage doesn't equal cool because well, with this game, is if I do uh, the weapons in such a way that most people do to get the most efficiency out of them, that's lining them all up. Well, you could have a thousand salvage modules or cannon modules or whatever but you only get one shot out of them sometimes you need the thousand shots just for it to look cool right so in a way i like the way this turned out even though ignorance did provide it <laughs> because i just didn't know but you know now that i know i can plan better for efficiency or for visuals because i do builds like different things just for fun a lot of the time if you're wondering what i mean look at my terror tech playlists You'll see some of my just for funds. And then there's my just for funds and all and ultimately efficient too. Those are my uh, Monsters of Terror Tech playlist. Some of them. Some are just, holy crap, that's huge. And it was fun. <laughs> but that's kind of what I hope to do with this game. Is get to the same point where I'm making whatever the hell comes to mind. Because I want to. And I know how to do it. <laughs> That'll take a bit of time, though. There is a lot to learn with this game, which is awesome for me. Because if anyone's watched my channel enough and you know what I'm about, it's all about the learning the new things, right? That's how I how I account for a good day some days. I could have a horrible day, but if I learn something new, hey, it's on the way to being a good one. Hence the reason I wish everybody a good one all the time. 
because what could be better than having a good one? So yeah, I was kind of just farting around with the idea of maybe having limited amount of power because I was under the impression that the turret would feed off the main ship. But I come to realize I may not have enough power for either. So I better just add in some power on both ends just to kind of compensate each other, hopefully. And, you know, I want it to be able to be its own little ship in its own right, just in case, you know, bad things happen to the main part, and then I could hopefully use it as an escape pod. You know, a little bit of redundancy there. It, it's kind of the way I like to think, especially when most of the time I build stuff, even if it is just for fun, I still like it to have a practical use in the main idea of the game. Now, I know I may be talking at a turn on that one, since I haven't really played the main part of this game. I've just been doing, like, the creative stuff and building and figuring out. But it seems a lot like that Terratech game I, I mentioned from time to time. Where you build something and you use it to accomplish your goal. Well, the goal seems to be the same, you know. Battle for survival. Expand your overall wealth and your fleet. Right there, I like it. <laughs> it's as easy as that. I like to keep things simple. So yeah, I'm just kind of farting around. I'm not really sure what kind of shape I want to get out of this. I don't want it to be big and blocky, of course. Because I don't know too many spaceships that are big and blocky, unless you're the board of Star Trek. And, well, they were never my biggest, biggest draw to that show. No. The aliens were cool and all, but I liked the variety of aliens. In general, it was the story. But I was never a really huge follower of Star Trek, or Star Wars for, for that matter. I watched the movies. Yeah, right on, they're cool. But I do like space. Astronauts, I mean astronauts. Yeah, you, got, you can't forget the row, right? Or it just sounds dirty. I gotta really watch myself on that one. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really caring for these black blocks. <laughs> They're a pain in the nuggets to kind of place right sometimes. You just can't tell. Everything's black in space, pretty much. I should almost get closer to that planet, just so I got the white background of its orbit or whatever. So, yeah, I'm not sure. This black, it might just have to quit. Maybe I'll use a different color. I'll give her a try, though, because I do like black and yellow together. They are a really good co color combination. I think that's why, you know, a bumblebee or a yellow jacket is colored like that, just so it can look cool. So you'd be like, oh, that's pretty neat. And then, oh, it stung you, the son of a bee? Hey, it is a son of a bee. <laughs> that's a little fourth grade humor. <laughs> I use that with the kids. <laughs> Maybe having kids has made me immature, but hey, I like it. It lets me have fun. But yeah, I think red is going to be a good color for up here. Red and yellow is a decent combination, I think. May not be ideal. I did want to use green, but the green they have isn't bright enough. And the lights that are bright enough for what I wanted, they don't come in the right shapes. So, red's the key. I'll go with red. I don't mind red. I like red. Red's one of my four favorite colors. Five favorite colors, because green recently become my other favorite color now. Because I really like green. The right shade of green. Unfortunately, my favorite shades of color also are signs of a severe beating. So, you know, it kind of, you know, misconstrues why I like them. Because, <laughs> you know, black, blue, red, purple, and then the green as my fifth one. You could have all of those after a really bad beating. I heard that in, uh, from a friend of mine. <laughs> I kind of liked it. It was funny. At the time, you had to get it in context, so, with the conversation. So, yeah, red's the ticket. So, I'm just kind of trying to give it a look. I'm not really hoping to armor everything and and have it super defensive. More just for, like, a little defensive. A little bit of the visuals. And, you know, just still trying to get used to the way the blocks work. I'm really starting to get a hang on these little corners. Because, like, they got the two corner options, which is awesome. 
because like the game I'm used to playing Terror Tech, you only got one corner option, really, for armor. And honestly, they could use the second one because it would make things just so much nicer. The smoothness of your build can actually severely change the look of it. And as you can see, I'm trying to figure out this mirror mode stuff. And I tell you, it is not cooperating with me in the slightest. Because I was hoping to set that middle one, like I got collected there, selected there, not collected, <laughs> but selected there as my center point, and then I'd be able to build on either side of it simultaneously. Simultaneously. Yeah, my English is horrible today. But anyway, but I'd be able to build them at the same time. Yeah, that's the better word. But see, it just keeps doing all this on me. So I'm kind of I'm kind of iffy on that still. I have to figure it out a little better. I got a feeling it'll work. I'm just doing something wrong. So hey, if you happen to have any ideas, let me know. Because there's one feller helping me. He's been awesome with the tips and all that. But I got a feeling that maybe I just misunderstood it a little bit, or maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. But if you see anything I am doing wrong, hey, feel free to jump in those comments. Let me know. Because, like I said, there's a lot to learn with this game, but I did learn how to use them. Ah, bless doors. Better shut that thing or I'll frickin' suffocate in here. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been kind of playing a lot. I was going to show the whole build process, but since I am learning, it is really, really slow. And I'm sure most of you already know how to build way better than I do. So, I kind of figure I'm going to just hit on the cool stuff and the important parts. Now here I just wanted to wanted to make sure this ship was ship shape and worthy. So you know I wanted to kind of tool around, make sure everything was functioning and I could control it. You know, it was fairly responsive. So I know it does have a fair bit of firepower. It's not excessive by any means. Oh no. I'm falling into the planet. Ah help me, help me, Lord, help me. Okay, I'm alright. I'm staying in orbit. Can't see nothing though. No. Glad there ain't a tunnel. Oh, crashed right into it. Uh-oh. Hope I don't make that crash into the planet. I better get back onto that thing as quick as I can, eh? Maybe it ain't a concern. Maybe it won't break orbit and fall out of the ground, but I don't want to find out the hard way, I tell you. Now, if you notice them sides there and that little hole, that's coming up. You'll see what I'm planning after a bit. That's going to be the next video, though. I was going to squeeze it in at the end, but this video got a little long already. I tried to keep them around the 15 minute mark, but this one ran over a bit. I'll let it slide. <laughs> now, one thing I noticed, though, that docking beam, it seems to be a little off uh, that green circle there. So you got to really kind of play around with it. And, and yeah, it does not help being in the damn turret. That took me a second to figure out, as you'll see here in a minute, that I'm going to just switch back over to the real main body of, uh, or the camera. Camera doesn't work. You got to be in the main body of the ship, it seems like. Now I can zap, zap, zap. Ah, there we go. Zappity, zap, zap. So I got that all kind of figured out, and then I noticed I was being shot. Can you believe it? I was being shot. What the heck is up with that, man? I'm minding my business. You're going to shoot me? Everybody's been neutral, so I'm guessing you're a pirate. Arr, matey, I take you out and make you walk the plank, you son of a... Try not to swear on my videos. But yeah, I can't reach him with that, because I actually boo-booed and put missiles as a secondary weapon under my salvage beam, just trying things out, and for the life of me, I don't know how to undo that. There's another thing, if you know how to undo that, you could save me a lot of Google searching in time if you could just tell me. Because <laughs> eventually I'll worry about it. But right now, I don't care. I'm just going to try things out. See the combinations. Look at that. That looked like it laid down some damage. But I'm going to try out the combinations because, like I said, my buddy there, Zed, he's been helping me out. And he's been telling me that all these different things are possible. And, you know, little by little, I'm going to try them and to figure them out. But this is my true first battle that ain't going to have me severely punished by incoming waves on upon waves of enemies, I hope. Since it is a pirate, I'm kind of thinking they probably travel in a small group of one, I hope. Or at least four. The last time I got in a battle, sheesh. 
They wouldn't stop sending things at me. It also makes me rem uh, remember that I gotta work on my shielding stuff. I don't have any shields at all. I completely forgot about them. And I also think I have a power issue too. Like, I don't have enough. So it's a good thing my main body of my ship is probably still going to get bigger. But I'm going to do it in sections. So I really got to figure out if it's it, if it is possible to have entities attached to my main body that will charge the main body while the main body can charge the attached entities, you know, like a big charging circle jerk. I mean circle. No jerking. That slipped out. I may not swear, but I do talk dirty sometimes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Slipped out of me. And I ain't gonna edit it. But anyway, as you can see, I'm laying down a hurting on this pirate. He's gonna wish rue the day he ever had that patch on the wrong eye and thought attacking me was a good idea. Oh, I tell you, zap zap sucker. See the bits fly off you like 90. Like 990 mile an hour. And that jumping crap, I haven't figured that out. I'm guessing that's like a bade kind of technique or tactic or whatever, but I tell you, that's pretty sneaky stuff. And then all of a sudden I can't find him. Like, what the hell, eh? Where'd you go? Don't you want to play no more? I'm trying to make friends, and you shot me first, man. That ain't fair. I'll frickin' find him eventually. It'll just take some time. Lots of guys around here, but I don't want to shoot the wrong one. But then I picked up on his overheating. <laughs> Sucks to be you, buddy. That little uh, little heads up on the overheating thing just screwed you over because I'm coming to shoot at you some more. I'm probably wasting time as he's probably just going to blow up anyway after that time runs out. But hey, I don't know. Maybe he could heal himself within that time. I ain't taking the chance. I will blast his arse as long as I have to. Until he does, it just blows up into a big ball of something. I hope it's got a cool explosion. That would be awesome. Because that's like the, one of the most satisfying parts of any battle. When you see that enemy just go pop. Just like a huge firework of destruction. Maybe little bits flying all over and stuff. Some good sound effects are cool too. Unfortunately I had to take out most of the game sounds on this. Due to using OBS and not figuring out how to do multi-audio channels yet. But I think we all get the gist, right? That right there with the missile fire would have been like a boom. And then the cans would be like boom, boom, boom. That's my lame sound effects. If enough requests, I can try and do better. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I surprise myself with the noises I make, but sometimes they also scare me. I don't know. It's weird like that. I get creative and then I get crazy sometimes. And it all works out for the good. Because I'm the right kind of crazy. You know, the fun-loving, happy-go-lucky kind of crazy. Might just try some weird shit once in a while. Uh, stuff. Stuff. I said stuff, right? I think. I don't know. But yeah, it does take a while to kind of work down these enemies. So I'm pretty sure I'm a little light on the weaponry. Like when you're getting four hit point damage. But it is spread out quite well. So that must be per weapon. So that's decent. So if I was to line about 10 of those up, it should go up to 40. So now I'm seeing the theory behind lining up the cannons, the missiles, and that increase the damage. I got me some ideas off of this. I tell you, don't be surprised if you see some crazy shite happening somewhat soon with me. Well, it'll be a bit, though, still. I got a little learning to do. I mean soon as in long-term view, <laughs> not like soon as in tomorrow. Because right now, I think what I'm kind of, I'm going to do is I'm shooting for every Sunday to have a star-made video. And then from there, as I get better and more uh, acquainted with the game, I'm going to try and pick it up. Because my ultimate goal right now, since I do really like this game, it is actually a really good game for what I want to do is I would like to have a terror attack and a star made game every day of the week six days a week and then Sunday I like to preserve for my oddball specialty kind of stuff if I have something coming out 
but I got a few other ideas, so we're going to have to see how it all plays out. But them's my, my basic goals for right now. Because I think having more than one steady game is key for a growing channel. And I think this is a really good game for that. Because I like creating stuff, even in real life. I'm a builder. I've always been a builder. I work on whatever I have to and whatever I can. So, like, this is right up my alley kind of deal. But I think with this one, as I'm kind of battling him out, I think I found the main core of his ship too, but it's just overheating. I can't seem to blow it up any faster. I'm going to kind of call this one to an end here, right about in here. So as I'm kind of wiping him out, just laying the hurting on him a little bit, trying out my salvage stuff too, see if I can claim stuff off him as he's blowing up. And you can see the blocks are disappearing. I like it. So the way I got the salvage and missiles, it's kind of set up for good close range effectiveness. But, you know, once again, I would like to thank you for joining me. And I do hope you always feel welcome anytime you come and visit me on my channel or see any of my videos. <clears throat> and, you know, always feel free to leave a comment. Even if it's just saying, hey, what's up? Something like that, you know, it'd be awesome to hear from you. And if, hey, you got more than that to say, perfect. Because feedback and all that awesome stuff that only you guys can bring. Just you guys. I can't do nothing about that end of it. But that is super helpful, helpful, and it is super appreciated. And, you know, any tips in general? Any other games you think would be cool? Suggestions? Things like that? Things to maybe try out and build? It may not happen fast, but it's out there. And, hey, if you'd like to also support my channel in another way, I also have a PayPal.me link that's going to be down in the, in the subscription. If you'd like to throw a $2 uh, donation to the channel there, I got a little uh, draw going on, but it's more for Terra Tech. But maybe you guys like 3D printed text as well. But if you'd like to, that two dollar donation will get your name thrown into the hat for a draw for a, a 3D printed metal tech or plastic. It's your it's your decision because it's just like a gift card kind of idea I'm doing. But if you're drawn, you could be the lucky winner of a said. Right now, it's forty dollar prize, and the more support the more the prize can go up. So until next time, everybody, keep being the awesome and keep having a good one. Let's get these stars made. Bye.